Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, or welcome back if you've been here before. My name's Liz and this is Let's Get Lizical, where we do everything card making. Today I'm going to be showing you an example of different ways to use your like background dies or um, cutting files. Uh, we're going to be using my cut file um, from my abstract set that I have in my Etsy shop. So I'll just get started and let you know what I'm doing here. We're going to be using the MFTs astronaut set. I'm not, I don't remember the exact name for it, but it's not available at the moment. Um, this will just be an example. You could use any other astronaut sets you have or different themes even. You don't have to do space theme. I'm just doing space theme today because I love this set and hoping that MFT brings it back out of retirement soon. Um, and I've already like pre-colored my image and cut it out on my cutting machine. This is the frame that we're going to be using. So I'll post a link to the Etsy listing below, but I think you get six frames in the set and they're different. Like there's an abstract one, there's um, a 12 panel, uh, six panel, and like a few other like different window cutouts. Um, and I think it's only like two or three dollars for it, so it's pretty cheap. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna, I cut this out like a year ago and I've just been like wondering how to use it. I used it the, on a different card last year, um, but I had this extra one. So I'm gonna be using some leftover, I believe this is honeybee paper. I'll link it down below as well. But I wanted to kind of just like not use this whole background. I just want to use like this portion of it from here over. Um, and then I'm gonna like kind of put the little astronaut here and then I might stamp a couple of the planets or something on the block. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add glue to the areas that I want to glue to this and then I will cut it out and then put it onto my card and then you could always just use this piece for a different card or you could use a section of it. it might be kind of cool to like use like these triangle areas and just kind of like place them prism like all over your card. Um, I'm probably going to ditch it after just because I have had it sitting around for so long, but uh, I just wanted to show you that you don't have to use everything as it comes. And I did take colors from here and kind of coordinated them with the, the astronaut. Um, took like these teal colors and used them on his suit to coordinate. Um, so now I'm just going to take my trimmer and get rid of the bits that I don't need. I was also debating on coloring this in like gray, but I think I kind of like the contrast. And then I'll be using more white because I think I do need to stamp on here. So I'm just going to add um, a quick pencil line just to show where I'll be putting my images. And then I can stamp around that. Then I'm going to use my antiseptic powder tool. When in doubt, use lots. Um, it doesn't hurt. And I'm going to stamp. Stamp the plants. And then I think I will leave it at that and I'll probably also splatter the background a little bit so it looks like a bit of a continuation of the space just without the color. And we might actually do a couple of these stars. Away before I dump it. Okay, I'm just gonna buff this away. And if it's 
still tends to stick a little bit. You can use an eraser to get rid of the rest of it. Like you can see the difference, like the black to like the gray. And you just want to like lightly go over your images. see like the clear line difference here hopefully um, and then I'm gonna use my picker tool and see if I can scrape some of this off. I'm gonna be splattering this anyway so it might be okay. Okay um, so for white splatter um, I'll just do it in this bucket. I just got like, um, like a sink bucket, dishpan, um, from the dollar store. You can use your flat box or whatever. Um, but I also just used a, like, dollar store acrylic white paint for splatter. And then I just put a little bit of it on acrylic block. You don't need a lot. Just a tiny bit it with water a few times. Mix it in. And then I'm going to tap my brush. Okay. And that's it. So we'll let that dry. And I'm just going to go clean these off. And I'm going to just use the low heat setting and help dry this a little bit faster. Good enough. I don't think I'm gonna put a sentiment on the outside of this card. I might just like put something on the inside, but like I think that's like super cute. And um, but for the stars, I'll probably add my clear jelly roll or silver. I have this silver one, metallic. I could do gold too, maybe I'll try the gold. I think this one's just like a dollar store pen. And then it kind of like ties into like the blonde hair. That just adds a bit of sparkle to it. I also, when I colored the astronaut, I have this um, emboss it pen from Ranger. Got it at Michael's, I think. You get a white and a black one. And I just went over like the face mask area and just clear heat bossed it just to give it like a bit of shine so it would look like the visor. I'm debating on whether or not I want to do it as a full panel or if I should cut off a border and I'm thinking I should cut off a border oh, I ended up cutting off a full two stars okay Ooh, that's all right And I smudged the star. No. Always make sure your stuff is dry before you touch it. Especially gel pen, it takes a little bit longer. Um, I'm gonna go over it again after I glue it on the card. This 
this makes me happy. I really love this white border, like I have to have it. I, I never do like edged edge cards very often. And I was gonna do that today and then it just didn't happen because I was just not loving it. Do what you love, guys. It'll make your life so much better. Okay, now I'm just gonna add a bit of foam tape here and then on his body. That is so cool, I love this. I might need to do this more often. I just love that it's kind of like slightly more realistic, I guess, behind here, and then it goes into like a cartoony atmosphere on this side. So he's like almost transitioning from another dimension or universe or whatever, which is kind of cool. And I might just leave it at that. Yep, I don't think I'm gonna add a sentiment to it this time. So that's our card for today, guys. Um, use your background dies in different ways. Um, if you have something abstract like this, you can cut out whatever sections you want. Maybe you see like a star in here somewhere. Um, or you can just like cut down the ones that you do have. Um, if you have like the panel ones, you could cut a center section out and stamp like a longer sentiment in there and just put images in the other ones and such and I will be showing another example next week for a different set that I have just transforming it from like one thing into another super easy just making a few minor cuts here and there um, really elevates your items and it gives them more use over time because then you're not using it for the exact same thing every time um, so yeah, so if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment if you feel like it, uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!